what is up guys welcome back to another video on the channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a youtube logo for free using a program called paint.net but before we get started if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and turn channel notifications on so you won't miss out on any future videos i post because i do upload once or twice per week and also guys make sure to comment down below because i do respond to all my comments and guys if you could do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video let's see if we can hit 30 likes and with that being said let's get straight into the video all right guys so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and download paint.net i'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys could download it uh once you have paint.net and installed go ahead and open it up and we're gonna start a new file so go ahead and click on file new and then make sure that the width is 800 and the height is 800 and go ahead and click ok so now the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add a new layer and um, go ahead and click on the text tool and make sure that the the size for the text is at 400 and for the font we're gonna use a uh, Raider the Crusader I think it's called uh, let me look for it real quick all right guys so for the font we're gonna use raider crusader uh if you guys don't know how to get new font uh, i have a video on how to get new font uh so make sure to check that out i'm gonna leave it in the description but uh yeah guys once you guys uh have chosen your font go ahead and uh, write the first letter of your channel name so i'm gonna just put uh, the letter a and then go ahead and click on the move tool and we're gonna move it to the center uh that should be good right there so now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna add a new layer. So go ahead and click add new layer, and we're gonna add like a background. So I'll go ahead and click on file, open, and we're gonna go to my desktop, and we're gonna open up this file right here. If you guys want something like this, just go to Google and type polygon background, and you should get uh, all these backgrounds. So choose whatever you guys want. But uh, once you guys have chosen your background, uh, go ahead and click on control C and then go back to your logo and then control V and it should sit right on top of your letter so uh, just make sure to cover up your whole letter and that should be good right there so now the next thing we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and click on your on layer 2 and then click on the magic wand and then just click up here and you should get this right here so um, as you guys see uh, your letters outlined so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the eraser tool and just make it as big as you can so that would be up to 2000 and then make sure that the uh, layer 3 is selected which would be the background and then just go ahead and click uh, erase and you should get something like this so go ahead and click enter to deselect and now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the line curve tool so what we're going to do is we're going to outline uh, your logo so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make it white and just zoom in and just outline it. All right guys, so uh, like, let's say if you choose um, the white outline, uh, make sure that your background is like a different color, like that you'll be able to see the outline. So we're just gonna change it. And we're gonna merge uh, layer three and layer two. So go ahead and click on merge layer down. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, outline it so we're gonna make sure it's on white and zoom it in all right guys so once you have finished outlining your logo we're gonna choose a background for your a logo so go ahead and uh, open up a new background I'm gonna use a space background so just if you guys want to choose a space background just go to Google type in space background and choose any of these backgrounds that you guys want so I already chose mine uh, so we're gonna go ahead and open it up let's say if the background is too big for your uh, logo go ahead and resize it so just go to image resize and make it 800 by 800 and go ahead and click OK and now go ahead and click Control C and then go back to your logo and then Control V and that should be good. So go ahead and click enter. So now the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go to effects, photo, uh, and then we're gonna click on this right here. I think that looks good right there. So go ahead and click okay.
And then you could uh, make it whatever color you guys want. I think that looks good right there. So just go ahead and click OK. And um, I think we're going to resize the logo. Alright guys, so once you finish your logo, go ahead and click File, Save As, and uh, name it whatever you guys want. I'm going to just leave it untitled and just go ahead and click Save. And yeah guys, this is how you uh, create a YouTube logo for free. And that pretty much wraps up today's video. So hopefully you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyed it. And if you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.